What's up, fellas? So I had a patron supporter that wanted to know about dating women that you don't quite find as attractive. Say, say they more like a six to you, but they have everything else. All right, so let's say she's a six or maybe even a five, which makes her fuckable, right? You can, you can hold your stomach in a little bit to fuck the ugly motherfucker, right? But she don't knock your socks off. She don't get you rock hard, all right? But she has a great job. She's cooks. She's uh, submissive and all that shit. And by the way, guys, that's not by coincidence. Trust me, that ugly bitch knows that she's not that attractive, but she has acquired these other attributes. It's sort of like a fat guy that goes out and get a whole bunch of money or whatever, or a corny guy that goes out and get a whole bunch of money because he knows he's corny or he knows he's fat. So it's to compensate, all right? So you'll meet these women sometime. They'll be very successful. They'll be very feminine and submissive. They'll cook for you, rub your feet, and do all this other bullshit. It's because they know they fucking look like shit, all right? So don't think that's by accident, all right? There's a reason why the nines and tens don't really bring much to the table. That's because, because they done had a bunch of simps that that's all that they value, and so they never had to bring nothing to the table but a fat ass. But over here in high value male land, all them bitches ever gonna be is a piece of ass, all right? Cause you gonna bring more to the table to fuck with AMS. Please believe that, all right? But getting back to this, this cannot work, guys, all right? We all, I have tried this before, by the way. When I was like 21, 22, it was in my early 20s, I can't remember exactly how old I was, uh, a friend hooked me up with this girl that she was about a five or a six to me now. To me, looks are subjective. Somebody else, she might have been an eight. But to me, she was uh, like a five or a six. But I'm talking about the nicest girl, had a six-figure job working for CBS in the South, which is like being rich. Uh, the nicest girl, her family made money, her daddy had his own car lot. So, I mean, just the nicest girl. On the first date, the first date, she bought me some cologne, all right, to meet me. It was a blind date. A friend hooked me up with me. She bought me some cologne. Just the nicest fucking girl, all right, but, and I tried to, you know, but when you be with somebody like this, you don't even want to be seen with them for real. So we went out to eat, all right. And, you know, the whole time I'm like, I hope I don't be seen by nobody. Not that she was hideous or nothing like this. Just she wasn't my cup of tea. All right. And so we moving along. We dated for like three weeks. I, you know, I stapled my stomach together the fuck one time. And she was bitching and complaining that she didn't feel loved and shit like this. That's because, guys, we give women two types of validation non-sexual and sexual all right now women fight like hell to get our non-sexual attention because it lets them know that the man likes me more than for a piece of ass all right that he loves to talk to me it means that you're catching feelings it'll be sort of like you guys losing your job and a woman standing beside you while you lose your job or you're going through rough times it lets you know that she's there for you all right, and that's sort of like what the woman does. So that's why a woman fights like hell to get our non-sexual attention. All right, but when you have sex with a woman, in itself is validation because the fact that you had to get your dick hard lets her know that at least you found her physical, uh, physically attractive. And when you're dating a five or six, maybe you can get your dick up hard once or twice just because it's new booty. But what you would notice is that you won't have that sexual drive and stamina to fuck them like you would if she was somebody you found very attractive. And therein lies the problem. Over a period of time, that woman is going to start to feel a certain type of way because you're not going to be able to fuck her the way you could an 8, 9, or 10. And so it's going to cause a conflict. All right, guys. So I'm going to say y'all guys a lot of trouble. Any of you guys that, you know, meet these girls that got good jobs, nice car, got her own crib, cook for you, bring you lunch, all this other shit. I am telling you right now, if you're a high value male, if you're a high value male and you have options, this will not work for you. That can work for a guy who doesn't have a lot of options because that's all he can get. But if you're a high value male, that's not going to work because... Women need to be se feel sexually desired, all right? They want your non-sexual attention, but goddamn, at least 
You at least I know you want to fuck me. And if you guys think I'm lying, any of you guys that have girlfriends or wives, if you think I'm lying, do this. Try for like going like six weeks saying, you know what, I'm not gonna fuck my wife or girlfriend. And see how that drives her crazy. Now, you probably don't even give her compliments. And so she'll come up and, you know, try to make you compliment her like, do you like my dress? How do my hair look? And you go and get a bag. Oh, it looks different. Oh, it changes good. You know, not giving her a direct compliment, but like an indirect compliment. And, you know, that'll hold her over. But if you go without fucking her, watch how she throw tantrums like a little fucking child. All right? Women cannot know that a man doesn't even want to fuck them. All right? That's why I said in that video, How to Get a Woman Obsessed With You, if you just, you know, get in bed and you ain't trying to fuck her on a regular basis, you'll drive a fucking woman crazy like that. Now, if you done built an attachment, you know, it means something. But for a woman that you just dating like a couple of weeks and she ain't attached to you or some shit like that, she gonna move on. Or she gonna bitch. It, it, it would not be, it would not work. Let me just say it like that. It would not fucking work. A woman cannot, you have to be, you have to date women that you find sexually attractive, guys. All right, try to stick to at least a seven. But when you start to get down to these fives and six and you just try to look at other attributes, thinking like, but man, she got a good job. I don't already tried that shit, guys. That shit does not fucking work. All right, there, uh, you can try it if you want to, but I'm just telling you I've already tried it for you and that shit does not, I end up having to hurt the girl for feelings to let her know that I really didn't find her attractive, all right, when I probably should have just left it alone after the first date, but I was trying to look at all the other shit she had going. We as men, nothing is going to make up for sexual attraction. Listen, a woman can pull that shit off. A woman can date you and not find you sexually attractive because men, all we want is the ass by hook or by crook, all right? Most of us as guys right now know that if we didn't have drive a certain car or if we didn't have a certain social status, that a woman wouldn't even be fucking with us. When y'all guys see these celebrities and shit like that, please believe most of those guys know that the woman that they are dealing with or all those women that they are dealing with wouldn't get them the time of day if they want celebrities. Those guys know that. It don't mean nothing to us men that if you don't find us sexually attractive because we just want to ask. We don't care how we get it. I don't care. Listen, I don't give a fuck if it's because you like my car, it's because I'm famous, or I make a lot of money, or you like my home, or you like that I got a big social circle. We as men, we really don't give a fuck how we get it. It's guys in relationships right now knowing that, hey, if I lost my job, my girl gone. And they guys stay there because... We ain't narcissistic like that to well. Our ego depends on whether a woman really finds us physically attractive. All right? It will, it's nice if she finds us physically attractive, but at the end of the day, as long as you bend over and give me that ass, that's all I really give a fuck about. All right, guys? So that's the thing. If you're an older guy right now, you're over 40, and you date a 21-year-old dime piece, you know goddamn well that girl wouldn't be dating your old ass if you ain't have the other shit going along with it. But it don't mean nothing to us. All right, with women, they have to feel sexually attractive. They need, they have to have at least that validation. All right, they want your non sexual attention, but they at least have to get your sexual attention, at least feel sexually desired, or they'll lose their fucking minds, guys. All right, and on the next thing I had, I had a guy wanted to know about double dating. Should you double date? Well, this is the way I see it if you're, if, if you, if you're fucking, then it's okay because. The woman, if, if you're not fucking, the woman can use the friend as a buffer between sex. I've had that happen before. I obviously when I was young. All right. So if you're not fucking, the woman can use that as a buffer between sex. So definitely not if you're not fucking. All right. If you are fucking, that means that she's probably starting to catch feelings. And she looks at you as probably higher value because she wants to show you to, off to a friend. Look what I got. Look at my man, all right? So that lets you know what she thinks about you. That lets you know that she thinks of you as high value, all right? So yes, especially if she's submissive. If you fucked her, but she's, you know, she's varying her masculine like she got low interest or some shit like that, fuck no. Don't do it. Because the date going to be hell. She be sitting there on the date trying to show her friend that she got the upper hand in the, in, in the relationship and all this other bullshit. So in that aspect, hell no. But like if she's submissive, 
and, and she looks at you as the high value male, hell fucking yeah, because what it tells me is, it tells me that she wants to show you off. All right, but never do it if you're not fucking. Never. It, it sounds like a buffer to me. And when I say buffer, guys, this is when a woman tries to do shit to prevent sex. This is why women that don't want to fuck you, this is why they want to, you know, meet for a lunch or some shit. All right. So they can say some shit like, oh, I got to meet up with my friends at four o'clock. All right. When you do the evening, say you do an 8, 8 p.m. date. What you gonna say? The date? You, who the hell you? Uh, you uh, so you you might say I'm going to the club or something like that. But typically, that's nothing to buffer us from sex. It's nothing to you know excuse you from coming back to my crib. Opposed to if you mean that fucking noon. Oh, I gotta run some errands and then I gotta take my mama to the store and then I gotta meet up with my friends for dinner and all this other bullshit. So in that aspect, they use the time a day as a buffer. All right. So be cognizant of, of that, guys. That. Women try to use, when they don't want to fuck you, they try to use things as buffer between sex. All right? So that's the way I see the double date thing. All right? All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holla back.